I remember you, I think at WrestleCon, maybe it was 2013 in a neck brace. Was, was so, that an angle? So, was yeah, that... Let, me tell, let me tell that story. So I, I was at a PWS show in New Jersey. Uh, they had a, ran a big show. I had Sabu, Eugene, a couple other guys over there. There was a big match going on between um, uh, Johnny Morrison and Liger. Juice and Thunder Liger. They wanted Sabu to do something with with the match. But Sabu kept turning him down because he didn't, didn't like the payday or, or whatever. They didn't want to pay him much or, or whatever the deal is. He didn't want to do anything. But then he wanted to do something on, on, on his own. But that something on his own never got cleared with the management of PWS. He said, you know, I'm going to go to the ring just do it. Let's do a handshake. I just want to. I'll just shake each each one's each one's hand, you know, and and that'll be it. So you know, he did that on his own. I told the sound guy to play to play Sabu's music. Because why is Sabu going to go go out there without his music playing? It does, like everybody has music that goes out, but I didn't clear that with the with the management. So uh, that and only that I take responsibility for. Everything else that happened with that Sabu did on his own. But you know they're not gonna they're not gonna go after Sabu. They're gonna they they came after me. So I'm I'm backstage and I get into a you know I get into a Pat Buck and then the, the little Eric Tapout guy, the the other promoter. And, you know the next thing, you know the next thing I know, Pat Buck's tech, you know hit you know hits me with a shot. You know throws throws a punch and you know and hits and and, and and hits and hits me and I just stood there like, what the fuck, what the fuck are you gonna do? I mean my grandmother hits harder. Than that. Then I turn around and and the other little mitt would sucker punches me the other way, not knocks my glasses off. But again, didn't do nothing. You know, didn't do nothing to me. I was just standing standing there because you know, you know, big guy and I could take it. I was mad. I didn't you know uh, defend myself or be wasn't quick enough to you know just do a block and counter or just do a, a block or anything. You know, and then then fi- finally. Uh, Kevin Matthews, he's a big, he's a big six foot jacked up, you know, Adonis, like a real, you know, he's a real, real big, strong, you know, strong guy. And I guess he's a, he's their muscle or something over there. And he's the, he's the coach over at the, the wrestle pro over there and right now and does, um, you know, whatever, whatever. So, you know, he, you know, me and him, finally me and him were squared off and like, we were like pulling each other's shirts and this and that, no pun, no punches were being thrown, but, like he, you know, this is a big six foot five jacked up guy. He couldn't do anything with me. And I kind of, you know, while no punches were thrown, you know, uh, in the eyes of whoever witnessed that, I got the better of him. And, you know, then it, then it got, it brought, it got, it got broken. It got broken up. And then, you know, you know, I, I, la- I eventually left with my, with my talent and stuff. And, you know, they told me, yeah, hey, you, you know, why don't you sell it a little bit? You know, I, I was shooken up a little bit, but not hurt. You know, I mean, you know, just you get into altercation, shit happens, but nothing, you know, I wasn't hurt or anything. Uh, he said, why don't you, uh, why don't you sell, put the, put the neck brace on. Eugene was told me this, put the neck brace on so, and sell it. So that's why you saw me with a neck brace at Wrestle, at WrestleCon uh, Meadowlands on 2013. 